So in this video we're going to be implementing if statements in our programming language. So you can see here I'm on the basic um, Wikipedia page and you can see this is how the if statement looks in uh, the basic programming language. So ours is going to look slightly different, it's going to be a variant of this. So uh, without any further ado let's get started. So if I come to the terminal and I just type in python3 and I say uh, basic.py and I give it the file test.line uh, you can see it says enter your name, I type in Francis, back to me, and you can see there it, it uh, echoes it out for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here, we're going to delete that, and we're just going to um, create an if statement. So our if statement is going to look like this, it's going to say if, and then it's going to have a condition, and our condition is going to be something like 1 equals 1, or 2 is less than 1, or something like that. So a condition is just anything like, um, is, say, test equal to hello. That's a condition. This part of it here is called a condition. So in our if statement, we're going to have the if keyword, then a condition. So I'm going to say 1 equals 1. And uh, if you go back to the uh, Wikipedia page, you'll see that the comparison operator in basic is just a single equals. But in uh, our version of basic, we're going to have um, a double equals. Then we're going to say then, and then we'll say end if down here. And in here, what we'll do is we'll actually just say print hello world. So here's the syntax for our if statement. It says if, then it's followed by a condition, then we have the then keyword, then we have the body of the if statement, and then we have the uh, closing end if. So if I uh, go into basic.py and I create the new if keyword, so all we have to do is copy this and paste it down here and we get, uh, just type in if here and we type in the lowercase version and we'll type in if there. So what we could do, instead of having two separate versions, is we could just make everything case insensitive. So we'll do that near the end of the tutorials, but for now we'll leave it as it is. And what we want to do is we want to stop the rest of the uh, interpreter running. We want to just print out the token, so we return, zero, or we return an empty string, which means the, um, if we go down here, the parse function has nothing to parse, so it'll just exit straight away. So that way we can uh, exit the uh, interpreter after we print the tokens, and here we're just printing the tokens out. So if I go back up here and just uh, run this again, you can see it says if equals equals and then it stops because it doesn't, oops, and then it uh, stops because it doesn't recognize the then keyword. So what you have to do is just come into basic.py and we want to add the then keyword. So we just copy this again, paste it here, change this to then, change this to then, and change this to then. We run this again. You can see now it says if equals equals then num1 or num11. So you can see we're having a problem recognizing uh, the number because in our program what we said was 1 equals 1 but what our lecture did was it didn't know how to do that so it just took each of these equals individually and then what it had left was two ones and added them together and made 11. So what, we're, what we have to do is we have to come up here to where it says equals and we want to have a special um, double equals. So what we want to say here is if tokens um, whoops, minus one is equal to equals then we'll say tokens dot append whoops, uh, equals we'll just say eq eq for double equals and then we'll say else and then we'll have this equals here so what we're doing here is we're checking if the last token in the tokens uh, list is an equals already then we're just going to append equals equals actually we won't want to do, we don't want to do that we want to say tokens uh, uh, minus one is equal to equals equals that's because um, I'll show you actually so if we do it the other way and we run this you see this is what we get we get if equals eq eq then and then uh, we have the rest of it but what we want to do is we want to take this and put it in there we don't want to have two equals so what we want to do is just say tokens oops, minus 1 to get the last token is equal to eq eq. And we run this again. Now it says if eq eq then and then we have the uh, number. So you can see here we have if which is correct. Then we have equal eq eq which is correct because we're recognizing the double equals. But before this we have to have a number and then after it we have to have a number and then that will get rid of this number. So the way we do that is... Um, we use um, an equal sign um, as a delimiter. 
So the way we can do that is we have to make an equal sign and a space a delimiter. So we just copy this up to the if state or from the if part of it, and we come down here and we say if we see an equals. So we just paste it in here. Run this. You can see if num one is equal to or equals equals. Uh, then we need to get the other one. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to use um, a then also as a delimiter. So we're going to look for the then keyword and we're just going to uh, make that a delimiter. Run this. You can see now it says if num1 is equal to uh, num1 then. So we've got the first line correct. We're parsing the uh, first line correctly. Then what we want to do is we want to get the uh, print hello world. So let's just print hello world on its own. Run that and you can see we can recognize those tokens correctly so we don't need to do anything to that. But for some reason our um, then isn't working or for some reason our print isn't showing after the then. So what I'll do is I'll just go up here and put it on the same line and run it now. Now you can see it is working. There's something in between the then keyword and the print keyword that's stopping it from showing. So the way we can check this is we just put in uh, a new line in and we save it and we uh, run it again. You can see now it's working. So the, uh, so the only difference between what we have now and what we had originally was there's a tab here. So if I get rid of, if I put a tab in, you'll see it won't work because our, um, our interpreter can't recognize a tab. So we do that is we just ignore tabs. So we just come up here, um, so we just come down here and say elif um, toke equals backslash t, which is a tab character. Then we said toke equals nothing. So we reset the token variable. So we run this now. You can see now it says if num equals one, or if num one is equal to num one, then print string hello world. So that works. And the only thing left we have to do is to recognize the end if keyword. So we just come in here like we did before, Copy and paste this, change this to end if, change this to end if, and change this to end if. So what we need to do actually is we need to make sure the end if is above the if, otherwise our token, um, our lexer will recognize the if before the end if. So if we just paste it above the if and run it now, you can see now it says if num1 is equal to num1 then print string hello world. And if, uh, and that's exactly what we wanted to say. So if we come to our file, you can see that is exactly what is written in our file. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. In the next video, we'll be um, getting our parser to be able to parse if statements. Um, but for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.